Go to employee benefits, our lesson for today. Sorry, medyo na late ang aking mga mat learning materials. Pero I miss you guys. So, ganito yung magiging setup natin. Para siyang voiceover ng PowerPoint presentation. Kung nga rin nagdi-discuss ako sa classroom setup. Without you seeing my face. <laughs> okay? So, employee benefits, conceptual framework lang ang aking i-discuss. Ibig sabihin, more on um, theories lang. Kasi ito ay actually part of liabilities. Again, employee benefits are, some of it are liabilities. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, intermediate accounting to pa siya. So, ngayon, ang kailangan nyo lang malaman is yung theories regarding employee benefits. Okay? So, ano po ba ang employee benefits? Ang employee benefits po is lahat ng ibinibigay sa empleyado. All forms of consideration in exchange for services. Okay? So, kung ikaw ay maghahanap ng work, malamang ang una mong titingnan ay sahod. Okay? Uh, bukod sa sahod, may iba pa silang binibigay. Okay? Allowances, travel uh, expense, uh, travel allowances, food allowance, yung mga yun, ang tawag doon is employee benefits. Okay? So, kung ikaw ay empleyado, ano ang mga benefits mo? Yun lang yun. Okay? Employee benefits. Okay? Pagganda ng employee benefits, pag pag-inganyos ng mga applicants to apply for that specific job. Okay, examples, uh, categorize siya. You have short-term employment benefits, post-employment benefits, other long-term employee benefits, and termination benefits. Iisa-isahin natin yan. Okay? Short-term muna tayo. When you say short-term, short-term, expected to be settled within 12 months. Okay? Related dapat siya in rendering of the employee ng services sa company. If ibinigay siya dahil wala lang, out of the blue, hindi po siya short-term benefits. Kasi sabi ng standard, dapat daw siya ay for rendering related service. Okay? And also within 12 months. Alam niyo naman sa accounting, kailangan we follow standards word per word. <laughs> okay? So, examples, you have salaries, wages. Mama, nang pinagkaiba ng salaries sa wages? Ang salaries, if you are a, a permanent employee or you are doing staff work, ang tawag doon is salaries. Okay? Kami, ang tawag sa aming salaries because we are probationary employee. Ibig sabihin, uh, underwatch pa kami. Okay? Ang tawag sa aming salary, ah, sa, uh, oh nga, ang tawag sa aming sahod ay salaries. Okay? Ang wages naman is per project. So, for example, uh, may, may contractor ka, nagpapagawa ka ng bahay. Yung per day nila, ang tawag doon is wages. Okay? Then, you have SSS, Social Security System. Okay, naririnig nyo sa magulang nyo. Pwede nyo itanong sa kanila, Mama, uh, magkano binabayad mo sa SSS? May may contribution doon si employee, okay, dinididak sa sahod, at si employer. So, dalawa sila nagko-contribute sa SSS. Pag ikaw ay government employee, ang tawag ay hindi SSS, kundi GSIS, Government Security Insurance System. Okay? Fill health, so sa health yan, binakaltas din yan, meron part ang employee, may part ang employer, and pag-ibig, housing loan. Okay? Regarding housing, pwede ka umutang, uh, pampagawa ng bahay, pambili ng bahay, yun. Okay? That yan, benefits. Compensated and paid leaves. So, yung pwede kang umabsent ng ilang araw, uh, pero bayad. Okay? Ang tawag doon, compensated and paid leaves. Okay? Profit sharing and bonuses within 12 months. Profit sharing, ibig sabihin, uh, may part ka, binibigyan ka ng uh, may are or na employer mo ng kahate or ng hate galing sa kinita ng kumpanya which is good okay and bonuses so, yung mga bonus lagi yung hinahanap okay pampainggan nyo din yan and medicare housing car and free groceries okay ang medicare is the insurance of a company hindi lahat ng companies may ganyan okay na ino-offer lalo na housing car and free groceries pero if you are 
For example, you are key, or ibig sabihin ay mahalaga kang empleyado, mostly, they are providing you those short-term benefits para maingganyo kang sa kanila ka mag-work. Lalo na if alam nilang high-value employee, uh, high-value person ka na pinag-aagawang ka ng maraming kumpanya. Okay? So, yun. So, the goal in life is to be a high-value um, uh, person. Charot. <laughs> the goal in life is to be kind and to be a good person. Yun lang yun. Okay? Next, how do you recognize and measure short-term employee benefits? Ano lang yan? Undiscounted basis. Ibig sabihin, you do not have to consider time value of money. Why? Because 12 months lang siya. Okay, kaya nga siya short term. Yun lang yun. Procedure, how do you account for it? Pag unpaid, ibig sabihin hindi mo pa binabayad, napangakuan mo na accrued expenses. Pag naman advance payment, eh di prepayment, prepaid ano, benefits. Ganun lang siya. Ang SAB ay short term employee benefits. Okay, next. Short-term compensated or paid absences. Yan yung kanina, yung leaves. So, pwede siyang vacation leave, sickness leave, uh, nagkaroon ka ng sakit, uh, yun yung short-term disability, maternity, kapag ikaw ay nabuntis, tapos paternity leave, kapag ikaw ay ama, tapos nanganak ang iyong asawa, and military service. Ma'am, pati po ang lalaki may paternity leave. Yes, of course. You need to take care of your wife. Okay, uh, kinikilala yan ng batas. Ang maternity and paternity leave is actually extended by our law. So, syempre, mas mahaba ang maternity leave. Pero, ang paternity leave, pwede mo siyang i-avail. Kaya nga, most of the companies, hindi sila tumatanggap na mag-asawa. Kasi, for example, nabuntis yung isa. Ah, nabuntis yung isa. <laughs> nabuntis yung babae. <laughs> Tapos, nanganak, ay di dalawa magli-live, which is did, uh, parang na-reduce yung work for, workforce. So, medyo nagaling lang ang companies doon. Kaya, yun. Okay? Military service, kapag ikaw ay, for example, if you're working in Korea, <laughs> at kailangan mong mag-enlist sa military training, uh, may paid leave din yun. So, sa Pilipinas, hindi pa uso yun. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay? Then, pwede siyang accumulating and non-accumulating by category. So, ma'am, ano po yung accumulating? Kine-carry forward siya to the next year. Ibig sabihin, kung hindi mo siya nagamit ngayon, this month, or this year, idadagdag na lang namin yung number of days na hindi mo nagamit sa sunod na taon. Yun yung accumulating. Ano? Pwede siyang vesting. Ang vesting po, ibig sabihin, if hindi mo siya nagamit, may choice um, pwedeng may choice yung entity ah, sorry, may, may choice yung employee na gawing, gawing pera cash, cash equivalent na lang yung unused na leave okay, yun yung kalimitan kaya hindi nagli-leave yung iba kasi alam nila sa katapusan ng term pwede nilang gawing cash ano, which is good kaya paontian ng leave meron naman tinatawag ay non-vesting hindi entitled sa cash sa cash payment yung yung unused kaya ang ginagawa nila ginagamit nila ng ginagamit yung leave okay so ano mas maganda diyan syempre yung vesting kasi syempre uh, bilhin mo perang perang kapalit bukod pa yun sa sahod mo perang kapalit basta wag ka maglilib charot lang okay so most of the companies yung before yung company pinuntahan ko non vesting yung kanilang leave and i am not entitled to a leave or any kind of leave kasi I'm just a part-timer daw. Okay? I am not a regular employee. Mostly kasi regular employees lang ang may leave. Okay? When you say regular, yun yung matagal na sa kumpanya. Yung kahit anong gawin mo, hindi sila matatanggal. Okay? Ngayon, sa aking current work, I'm a prob probationary employee. Meron naman akong leave. Pero mas marami pa rin yung kapag regular employee ka na. So, yun. Okay? 
Next, you have non-accumulating, hindi carried forward. Okay? Not carried forward siya. Ibig sabihin, kung hindi mo siya nagamit ngayon, wala na. Back to zero ka ulit. Next month. Okay? Lapses if the current period's entitlement is not used and do not entitle the employees to a cash payment. Okay? Wala siyang vesting, wala siyang non-vesting, basta siya ay not carried forward. Okay? Next. Post-employment benefits. Ito naman. Pagkatapos mo ng... Pagkatapos mong magtrabaho sa kumpanya, anong i-offer ng kumpanya sa iyo bilang thanks, bilang thanksgiving sa iyo? So, uh, there are employee benefits which are payable after completion of employment. So, kung nari nag-retire ka. So, pwede siyang formal arrangements, may pinipirmahan kontrata, or the moment na you're hired, may pinipirmahan ka na nakalagay doon ng iyong post-employment benefits. And may be established by law or informal practice by entity. There are some sectors na established by law ang kanilang uh, post-employment benefits. Meron naman na dahil nakaugalian niya magbigay ng post-employment benefits, informal na yung pagbibigay, yung walang kontrata, basta ikaw may matatanggap. Okay? Examples, you have... Yeah. Ano ga yung iwa warang? <laughs> okay, so you have post-employment life insurance. Okay? Pagkatapos mo, entitled ka na sa policy mo ng life insurance. May life insurance ka na. Or, yung life insurance mo doon sa company, some of it ay ibibigay sa sa'yo. Okay? Kasi hat, ang company ay nagbabayad ng premiums. Some of the premiums will be given to you. Okay? Post-employment medical care. So... Uh, may mga cards, cards ka na because you are uh, a retired employee of this or for example, you're a military retired military officer meron kang, may binibigay silang mga uh, parang tawag dun, parang mga uh, special of privileges after, na when you go to the hospital, sabihin mo lang na you are retired military, ganyan, ganyan, may discounts, and yung company mismo, minsan nagbibigay ng, uh, sila yung sasagot ng percent ng iyong pa-hospital. Okay? Then you have retirement benefits. Okay? So, sa retirement benefits mo, after you retire, pwedeng pension, Okay, narinig niyo yung pension, yung sa matatanda, yung sa mga lolo't lola niyo, yung pakikuha naman na aking pension sa bangko. Okay, as long as they are they are living after they are retired, they're entitled to their pension. Mam, anong ka po yun? Yun yung SSS and GSIS na binabayaran nila or ninyo when you are living ay, when you're living, when you're working pa. So, pag nag-retire ka na, makukuha mo na yon every month. So, hindi ka, hindi ka, kumbaga, eh, may natatanggap ka pa rin. At yun yung pinaghirapan mo nung ikaw ay working. Yun yung pension. Ang lamsam naman, retirement benefits, it's the, the company na bukod sa pension na binibigay na SSS or GSIS, merong lamsam silang ibibigay sa sa'yo. Okay? Yung ibig sabihin, from the company itself, ibibigay sa iyo isang buo. Okay? Mambukod pa yan sa pension, yes. Okay? So, yun. Post-employment benefits, two types siya. You have defined contribution plan and defined benefit plan. Okay? Defined benefit plan. Ang computation nito, hindi ko na discuss ha, kasi uulitin uli natin to sa intermediate too, if you are still account assistance. Haha, <laughs> joke lang. So, ating, ating uh, ipag-pray sa kay Lord at sa buong universe na you're still accountancy students. Okay? Kasi you will deal with this, employee benefits. Okay? Contribution plan. So, siya ay, the entity, entity pays fixed contributions in a separate fund. So, lalagay ko lahat. Yan. So, dito, ang definite ay yung contribution ng employer sa isang fund. So, ganito yung nangyayari. Merong kinukuha si employer na third party wherein dun niya ilalagay yung binabayarang uh, yun, yung naka-fund na for your retirement, for your post-employment benefits. So, throughout the years na hindi ka pa nagre-retire, nag-i-interest siya, nadadagdagan siya na nadadagdagan, Okay? Hanggang sa pag nag ka na, yung kung magkano yung laman ng ng fund, yun yung ibibigay sa iyo for yung per person. Okay? So, dito sa defined contribution plan, 
ang definite sa kanya ay contribution of the employer. Ibig sabihin, fix yung binabayaran ni employer every month. Okay? Pero, yung matatanggap ng empleyado at the end of their service sa company ay hindi sigurado kung magkano. Okay? Yung benefits, ha? Kung, hindi mo alam kung 1 million, 50,000, 40,000 pesos. Depende daw yan sa performance ng fund na ang caretaker, ang tawag is trustee. So, anong ginagawa? Yung fund, ini-invest nila sa iba't ibang klase ng investment. Okay? Kapag yung investment na yun, nung fund, ay maganda, malaki ang makukuha ng employee. Pero kapag yung hindi performing well yung investment, maliit yung makukuha ng employee. Okay? So, in short, it is up to the trustee kung gano'n siya kagaling mag-invest. And they are investing in uh, growing in investments. Malaki ang makukuha ng employee. Pero paano pag hindi? Hindi ka? Employee bears the investment risk. Okay? So, dito, ang panalo, employer. Ang dehado, employee. Okay? So, accounting for defined contribution plan. Uh, ang measurement niya is undiscounted basis. Ibig sabihin, you do not have to consider uh, time value of money. Okay? The contribution na employer, dahil usually yung company yung mag, uh, magre-record ng contribution, expense siya. And then, any unpaid contribution, syempre, accrued expense. Tapos, any excess sa contribution, they are actually prepaid expenses. Okay? So, yun lang yun. Madali mag-account ng DCP. Kasi, syempre, wala ka naman ibang iisipin, kundi yung babayaran mo na employer. Okay? Next, defined benefit plan. This one is kabalik tara ng defined contribution plan. Okay? Dito, ang benefit of the employers ang definite. So, pag sinabi ng company na ang lamsam na matatanggap ng isang empleyado is 1.5 million by the end of its retirement, okay, um, yun ang matatanggap niya. Ngayon, ang problema, yung contribution ni employer ay indefinite. Okay? Pag performing well yung investment ng fund kay trustee, uh, pwedeng magkaroon ng contribution holiday si employer. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na siya magbabayad ng contribution kasi ang ganda ng performance ng investment, hindi, kumbaga, hindi pa kulang yung nakalagak na ibabayad ko sa employee as benef post-employment benefits. Pero paano kapag not performing well yung investment ng fund uh, ni trustee? Pag ganun, you have to make additional <laughs> contribution. Okay? So, sino ang win-win situation dito? Ang win-win situation dito is yung employee. Kasi sure siya, 1.5 million na matatanggap niya. Sino ang dehado? Employer. Investment risk. Nasa kanya. Okay? So, dito, sa DBP, mas complicated ang pag-account niya. Okay? Sabi nga, uh, recorded siya at discounted basis. Ibig sabihin, you are considering time value of money. Ma'am, bakit siya mahirap? Kasi, hindi mo alam kung kailan magre-retire empleyado mo. Okay? So, pwedeng ang DBP is unfunded, fully funded, or partly funded. Then, expenses recognized. Recognized is not necessarily the amount of contribution for the period. Okay? So, um, meron tayong risk. Nasa atin yung risk. And when we have the risk, mas mahirap mag-accounting ng ganun. Okay? Components niya. Yan. Uh, papasadahan ko lang siya kasi may computation to. Huwag na. Okay? The defined benefit cost, ano po ba yun? Yun yung amount to be funded by the contribution from the employer. Defined benefit cost, yun yung ibibigay ng employer dapat. Anong components niya? Service cost. Yung service cost, pwedeng current, pass, or any loss, or gain or loss on the plan settlement. Net interest. Mamaya, babalikan natin yung net interest. And then, we have remeasurements. Mamanin po yung remeasurements. Kasi nga, nagbabago ang panahon at nag-ibang isip ng employee kung tatagal pa siya sa, sa isang kumpanya and yung performance sa investment risk sa, sa market, kailangan you have to remeasure always in defined benefit cost. Okay? So, yan. 
service cost and net interest ano po uh, saan po siya nire-record nire-record po siya sa profit or loss siya ay part ng income statement profit or loss okay employee benefit expense siya okay yung remeasurements or yung pagbabago ng plano okay sa OCI siya other comprehensive income and reclassified subsequently to retained earnings okay Pag daw mas malaki ang contribution mo kesa sa defined benefit cost, ang tawag doon is prepaid benefit cost. Pag mas malaki ang defined benefit cost mo kesa sa contribution, meron kang accrued benefit cost. Okay? Now we go to employee benefit expense. Anong composition nung ire-record mo sa profit or loss na employee benefit expense? You have current service cost, past service cost, net interest, gain on plan settlement as a deduction, and loss on plan settlement as an addition. Okay, say say natin. Current service cost. Yan yung cost to an entity under defined benefit plan for service rendered by employees in the current year. Yan yung binabayaran mo sa empleyado mo, okay, in rendering service. Under the defined benefit plan, ha? then we have net interest, hindi na yung past service cost. Yung past service cost, ibig sabihin nyo yung nakaraan. Okay, net interest, uh, it is the change in the defined benefit obligation, plan asset, and asset ceiling as a result of passage of time. Kasi sinasabi nga natin, the time of value of time value of money is considered. So, pwede siyang interest on DBO, defined benefit obligation, interest income on plan assets. Ma'am, dal, uh, dalawang klase po ng interest, yes. Isang expense at isang income, pinag tatama. Pag pinagtama mo yung dalawa, ang tawag ay net interest. Ma'am, ano po yung pinagtatama? Pag mamainusin. Okay? Then you have interest expense on effect of asset ceiling. Ma'am, ano ka pa ang asset ceiling? Pag nasa computation na tayo. <laughs> okay? Past service cost. Yan nga, cost of the entity for prior period. But, prior periods. Okay? Um, as a result of amendment or curtailment of the existing plan. Ang amendment, introduction of a defined benefit plan and changes to an existing defined benefit plan. Yun yung mga pagbabagong ginawa mo sa defined benefit plan. Ang plan curtailment naman is significant reduction by the entity in the number of employees covered by DBP. Okay? So, yan naman, Paano kapag nag-layoff ka? So, hindi lahat entitled sa post-employment benefits. Ang meron sa kanila ay severance pay okay, or termination benefits. Pero yung post-employment nila, tanggal. So, ibig sabihin, may reduction sa number of employees. Ang tawag doon, plan curtailment. Kasi hindi na sila covered ng defined benefit plan mo. So, may arise due to closing of a plan, discontinuance of an operation, and termination or sus suspension of a plan. Maraming ngayon, during the COVID-19 pandemic, maraming companies will do layoffing and layoffing. Layoff and uh, retrenchment. Okay. Ibig sabihin, maraming empleyado ang mawawala ng trabaho and they will do plan curtail curtailment because of that. Ang termination benefits or the severance pay will be large but the defined, the post-employment benefits will be decreased, will be reduced. Okay? na um, ang sakit sa pakiramdam ng ganun. Na may nawawalan ka trabaho at ikaw ay parang wala ka ng choice kasi hindi na kaya ng, ng company mo okay remember that GCQ or the general community quarantine is not a time to celebrate okay it is done because it is needed by our economy kasi hindi kaya ng ekonomiya natin na 2 months tayong or 3 months, 4 months tayong naka-ECQ at walang nagtratrabaho. Pag ganun, baka wala na tayong makain, baka maging zombie apocalypse na. Charot lang. Okay? Recognition of past service costs. All, all past service costs, whether vested or unvested, so, sabi ko naman kanina yung vesting and non-vesting, ano, shall be recognized as expense immediately. Okay? Plan assets. Mama na po yan. Plan assets are actually the assets na held by a long-term benefit fund and qualifying insurance policy. Okay? Ang plan assets, siya yung na, nanganganak ng interest. Siya yung ginagamit mo for, uh, tawag yun, for investment. Okay? It may be cash, 
accounts receivable or property plan equipment conditions on plan assets usually cash to held by an entity the fund itself that is legally separate from the reporting entity conditions so ha okay dapat daw ay hawak ng entity and separate from the reporting entity and available to pay only employee benefits so set aside for employee benefits lang not available to the reporting entities on creditors even in bankruptcy so hindi siya pwedeng pakalman uh, even mag bankrupt and even singiling na creditors hindi pwedeng habulin and cannot be returned to the reporting entity hindi pwedeng ibalik so nasa trustee lang siya if nagsara ang company na kay trustee pa rin pwedeng kunin siya ni company para lang magbayad ng employee benefits pero hindi siya pwedeng gamitin to other matters okay Next, we have qualifying insurance policy. So, this is it is an insurance policy issued by an insurer that is not a related party of the reporting entity. Pwede siyang SSS, GSIS, or other independent uh, retirement ben accepting retirement benefit plans. Okay, marami dyan kumpanya, Sun Life. Ay, sorry, hindi pala pwede mag <laughs> Okay, basta marami dyan ang kumpanya. Okay, so proceeds can only be used to pay employee benefits. Okay, hindi pwede siya sa other payments. Okay, if the insurance policy is not a qualifying insurance policy, then it is not a plan asset. There are some insurance policy na hindi siya pasok sa sa kanyang definition, yung insured by an insured that is not related part of the reporting entity and process can only be used yan yan. Pag hindi siya pasok dyan, hindi siya uh, qualifying insurance policy, hindi siya plan asset. Okay? Yan. Last part, FVPA and PBO. FVPA stands for Fair Value of Plan Assets. This is the source of the funds. Okay? Then, projected benefit obligation. This are present value of expected future payment payments. Okay? By the name itself, itong isang ito ay asset, ibig sabihin debit balance, at itong isang ito ay liability, ibig sabihin credit balance. Okay? Remember that. FVPA is asset and PBO is liability. Kapag mas malaki ang FVPA mo, which is the asset, kaysa sa PBO, which is the liability, meron kang prepaid benefit cost. Ibig sabihin, sobra yung iyong uh, nasa plano, pwede kang magkaroon ng contribution holiday. Kapag ganyan, uh, non-current asset siya and overfunded yung iyong plano, which is okay. Okay? Next, pag mas malaki ang PBO mo kaysa FVPA, that's accrued benefit cost, may utang ka pa. Non-current liability siya and underfunded ang iyong plano. So, you have to make additional contribution. Okay? Then, sa inyong book, meron doon na how, ano yung nag-i-increase kay FBPA, ano yung nag-decrease sa kanya, and PBO, how, ano yung mga nag-i-increase sa kanya, ano yung nag-decrease sa kanya. They are part of computations. Okay? Most of the items na discuss ko. Okay? So, yun lang. Yun lang ang kailangan nyo malaman, the basic of employee benefits under conceptual framework. It's actually accounting standard. That's past 19. Okay? So, see you sa next lesson, which is uh, earnings per share. Okay? Bye-bye!